Hi guys, welcome back to Bali. So today I want to talk about the power of the subconscious mind. That little bugger at the back of your head is probably, is, is in fact incredibly powerful, more powerful than the conscious, because the subconscious imprints everything that you've been through in your life from start to finish. Every habit, every routine, every personality trait, boom, boom, boom. That's what it does. And what it does effectively it says, stay in your comfort zone. Partners up with the ego to say, you can't do this. That's not probable. You've never done that. How on earth do you think you're going to do that? Uh, don't listen to those people. They know nothing about your life. Barrier after barrier after barrier. I would say, screw that. And you need to reprogram your subconscious. How do you do that? Many ways. One of the ways I do it, and the great late Bob Proctor said this, Repetition, 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 repetition. The things that you want in life, the person you want to become in life, repeat, repeat, repeat. Now repeat after me. I am a multi, multi millionaire. I have the most amazing lifestyle. I have the most amazing relationship. I have the most loving boyfriend, girlfriend. Got it already. He's mine, she's mine. Boom, end of story. I have an amazing job. I have an amazing lifestyle so on and so forth, repeat it over and over and over again, right? The law of assumption, where you absolutely tell your bloody subconscious, that $50,000, got it already, thanks very much for that. The subconscious is like running around thinking, wait, what, what are you talking about? Did, Did I already give you that? Okay, so you then start living that sort of lifestyle of being sub, that subconscious kicking in and saying, shit, we, we, we better sort of, act as if he's got 50,000. Because your conscious is telling your subconscious, I'm acting as if I've got the money. And then so your habits change accordingly to become that person who's got that 50,000, that person who's not wanting anymore. Same thing when it comes to love and relationships. I had this date last night, yuck. Oh God, I remember the day when, you know, I used to struggle on the dating apps. But now I don't, so thanks very much. And the subconscious again is running around thinking, wait, what? Did we do that? Oh shit, okay. And then you start doing all those things as if you're in a relationship. And soon the universe delivers those things to you because you're living that life, right? It's tricking the subconscious, yes. It's manifesting, using the law of assumption, using the law of attraction, um, using all those old habits. Remember in my other video I said, I remember the day when I used to worry about money. No, I don't. Uh, I put my card in the ATM machine, uh, and it comes out with money all the time. No declines. By the way, that used to happen to me. And I used to be scared shitless <laughs> when that happened. And I'm thinking, oh my God, it doesn't happen anymore. But you get the point I'm trying to make. Reprogram your subconscious to your new way of life. You start telling that bloody thing a new story every single day and see what happens to your life it will change if you want to change as a person you want to change your circumstances and the things going on around you you need to tell your subconscious a different story you need to start living a different story stop reading the same old bloody book over and over again you get the idea i think so (laughs) lots of love from bali